In this video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to using certificates from AWS Certificate Manager, or ACM, with Apache Web Servers on AWS Nitro Enclaves instances. AWS Nitro Enclaves is an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, also known as EC2, feature that allows you to create isolated execution environments called enclaves from EC2 instances. These enclaves are isolated and hardened virtual machines with no persistent storage, no interactive access, and no external networking, and can be used to secure your most sensitive data. Previously, when running an HTTPS web server on EC2, you would have created certificates and stored them as plain text on your instance, or used infrastructure such as an elastic load balancer to host the certificates. With ACM for Nitro Enclaves, you can bind ACM certificates to an enclave and securely use these certificates directly with your web server without exposing their certificates in plain text form to the parent instance or its users, and without requiring additional infrastructure such as an elastic load balancer. This video outlines a process for creating a Nitro instance with an ACM certificate using Apache. Note that ACM for Nitro Enclaves also supports use of Nginx web servers. To follow along with this demo, you either need to own a registered domain to allow ACM to issue public certificates, or use AWS Private Certificate Authority to create a CA to issue private certificates. If you do not currently own a domain, you can register a domain using Amazon RAT53 using the QR code on screen. You can also refer to the documentation for installing and configuring ACM for Nitro Enclaves using the QR code on screen. The link is also in the description below. Let's now go to the AWS Management Console to see how we can install an ACM certificate on an EC2 Nitro Enclaves instance. The first step is to request a public certificate using ACM. In the AWS Management Console, Navigate to the Certificate Manager service and request a certificate for the domain you are creating. In this demo, I've requested a DNS validated certificate for the domain www.nitroacm.xyz. Note that this domain is not associated with AWS and is used for demonstration purposes only. ACM will provide you with a CNAME records to add to your hosted zone to verify that you own the domain. If you are using Amazon Route 53 in the same account as your DNS provider for your domain, you can click the button Create Records in Route 53 to simplify this process. Once you have updated your CNAME records to verify your ownership of the domain, ACM will issue you a certificate within a few minutes, so let's launch our EC2 instance while we're waiting. To start an instance, navigate to the EC2 service and select Launch Instance. I'm using the name Apache Web Server, but this can be any name that you like. Under Application and OS Images, search a term Nitro ACM, then select AWS Certificate Manager for Nitro Enclaves under AWS Marketplace AMIs, then continue. For instance type, Select a Nitro instance type. I've selected a c5.extra-large instance, and a link to a list of Nitro instance types is in the description below. Under Key Pair, I'm selecting Proceed Without a Key Pair as I'll access this instance using AWS Systems Manager, also known as SSM, instead of SSH. Using SSM to access EC2 instances is a good security practice as no inbound security groups are required to be open to access the instance with this method. Now select a security group that you wish to apply to this instance. For this demo, I'm allowing inbound port 443 so that I can test the web server at the end of the demo. Next, I'm expanding advanced details, so I'm setting Nitro Enclave to enable. If this option is not selected, you will not be able to use Nitro Enclaves on your instance. You can now select Launch Instance to create your web server. 
Let's go back to ACM to verify that the certificate has been correctly issued as this is required for the next steps. As you can see, the certificate for www.nitroacm.xyz is now issued. If your certificate is still pending, go to the troubleshooting link in the description for further guidance. We will now create an IAM role for our EC2 instance. The role will be used by ACM for Nitro Enclaves to do two things. Firstly, to fetch the certificate and its keys from an S3 location that only the role can access. And secondly, to decrypt this information using the KMS key created for this purpose. Let's navigate to the IAM console to create the role. In the IAM service, select Roles, then Create Role. In the next screen, under Use Case, select EC2, then Next. If you are using SSM to access your instance, add the policy Amazon SSM Managed Instance Core to enable SSM's core functionality. We'll add further permissions later, so for now click Next in the Add Permissions screen, then give the role a name. I'm giving the role the name Apache Role. We will now get the Amazon resource names, also known as the ARNs, for the role and the certificate we created. To do this, open the role you created. You can then click on the copy icon to copy this to the clipboard, then save this ARN to a text editor. You can then navigate to the ACM service, open the certificate you created, then click on the copy icon to save its ARN to your text editor. We will use these ARNs in later steps. We will now use the command line to associate the role you have just created with the ACM certificate you created earlier. The easiest way to do this is using AWS Cloud Shell, which is a browser-based shell that allows you to interact with your AWS resources from the AWS Management Console. To use this, search Cloud Shell in the search bar and select the service. Once Cloud Shell has opened, Verify that the region that is displayed in the top right of your console matches the region that you created your instance and certificate. Here I am using Oregon, also known as US West 2. In your Cloud Shell terminal, type the following command and press Enter, giving the ARNs of your certificate and role as parameters. Cloud Shell will return an output similar to what is shown on screen. Copy the output into a text editor as you'll need the variables that the command returns later on. The role you created is now associated with the certificate you created. We will now create an IAM policy for the role we created earlier. Go back to the IAM console and select Policies, then Create Policy, then JSON. Using the link in the description below for Role Policy, copy the policy template into the policy editor. In this template, we need to make four changes. Firstly, replace the certificate S3 bucket name with the S3 bucket name returned by the associate enclave certificate IAM role command. Next, for the decrypt statement, replace region with the region you're using, in this case, US West 2, then replace encryption KMS key ID with the KMS key ID returned by the associate enclave certificate IAM role command. Lastly, replace the placeholder IAM role ARN with the ARN of the role we created. Once you have done this, click Next. Give the policy a name, then Create Policy. You can now attach this policy to the role you created earlier. Select Roles, then search for the role that you created earlier. Select that role, then under Permissions, select Add Permissions, then Attach Policies. Search for the policy you just created, check the box, then select Add Permissions. We'll now attach this role to the instance we created earlier. Navigate to the EC2 service, then select Instances Running. Find the instance you created earlier, right-click on it, select Security, then Modify IAM Role. Select the IAM Role you created, then Update IAM Role. Your instance now has the permissions of the role that you created.
We now need to configure the Apache Web Server to use the ACM certificate. To do this, you will need command line access to the instance you created. I've configured my instance to use SSM for remote access, so I can log on to it by finding it in my list of running instances, right clicking on it, then selecting Connect, Session Manager, Connect. However, you can also access instance via SSH if you prefer to access your instance this way. We are now on the command line of our instance and we need to configure the instance to use our certificate. The Nitro Enclave instance we created has a sample configuration file you can use as a starting point for your Apache configuration. I will use this as a base for my configuration by using the command shown on screen which copies the sample to the Nitro Enclave's configuration file. Using a text editor, open this file using sudo. Find the variable certificate underscore ARN, uncomment the line, then add the ARN of your certificate from your text editor. Save the file, then exit back to the command line. We will now edit the Apache configuration file to use the required certificate. Copy the sample Apache configuration file to your Apache configuration directory using the copy command shown on the screen. Now open the ACM configuration file with administrator privileges using sudo. Find the line that begins with hash followed by server name and remove the comment from the start of the line. Replace www.example.com with the domain name of the certificate you created earlier. Next, comment out the line beginning with listen so that you don't have duplicate listeners defined for port 443. Next, find the line beginning with SSL protocol and replace it with SSL protocol minus all plus TLS version 1.2. Start the ACM for Nitro Enclave service and ensure that it starts automatically at boot using the following commands. This one starts a Nitro Enclave service while this one sets the Nitro Enclave service to automatically start at boot. I will now exit the instance CLI and add DNS records for the instance I've created. Using your DNS provider, create an A record for your domain that points to the public IP address of your instance. I'll do this using a Route 53 hosted zone. This ensures that your domain points to the EC2 instance you created. Now I am creating an address record for my domain that points to the IP address of the EC2 instance I created. Now use your web browser to navigate to the domain you created. If all goes well, you will now see an Apache test page in your web browser which demonstrates that your web server is successfully using an ACM certificate. This concludes my demo of using ACM certificates with Apache web servers on EC2 Nitro Enclaves instances. To learn more about this feature, see the AWS documentation included in the description below. Thanks for watching.